What's good, what's lady? What's Gucci with your gang? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. This is Froggy. I'm Moon. Today we got a special reading. Um, I'm not going to say this is a collective. This is what we're calling, me and Froggy are calling it a 5D plus reading. So, yeah, we hope you guys like it. Please remember it's not going to resonate for everyone. But what we got out here is six different decks. These are the decks that we're using. Egyptian ancestors dragons earth oracle fairies and uh gateway of light activation as well so yeah it's going to be really exciting and if i like how this kind of goes goes i'll be doing more of these readings so yeah let's find out what spirit wants you guys to know most at this time gang for the high vibrational squad that's what's good all right, we're going to start with getting one of these um, Egyptian star oracles. So let's see. All right, we got one. Okay, so this is middle of the boat or heart of the ship, journey through life. So some of you are definitely going through some, if this is your message, you're going through some kind of big changes right now. Um, you know, you may feel like you're actually on this, like, boat carrying some kind of item <laughs> sorry it's just the angle my hand shakes but um yeah one in five is giving me that there's some kind of big change but also a new beginning occurring in your life right now all right and you're on this boat basically i feel like your ancestors got you on some kind of boat <laughs> and it's that saying may be significant some of you may know what it means on a deeper level but yeah the middle of the boat or heart of the ship all right, that's really interesting. I feel like you are the heart of the ship. So yeah, you know, you may think like it's the angels, ancestors, everybody. Yeah, of course they're helping you, but it's like you are the main, it's like the, the quartz in a clock, right? It's like you're the thing that keeps it ticking. You're the thing that <laughs> keeps things moving. You're the reason things keep moving is what I'm getting. All right, so in relation to the dragons, we've got the water dragon. So whoever you are, this journey that you're going on right now, water is very significant, okay? Because we usually <laughs> ride our boats over water, right? So this say, is this saying that some of you have the dragons working with you to help you flow easily around obstacles. It says it right there. Okay, that's what the water dragons are doing to assist you guys right now. Because, yeah, you don't know. Like, this this looks like a smooth ride, right? But it could be very bumpy. Um, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Right, this is saying Christ love. Christ light and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities. Go with the flow. Now, that's really fucking significant because <laughs> on my way back here before I did this reading today, um, <clears throat> I was just riding and this guy stopped his car because something fell off the back. Oh, fell off the front. And it was actually his headlight, but it was not the headlight. It was like the piece that you'd kind of stick. He'd Basically, he'd customized his car and it was all white, except for like certain parts were purple. And just this purple part that was under the headlight came out. It was like a purple eye, pretty much. And I, and I saw him get out of the car. I'm waiting for him and he's putting it back in. And then I look back and I realized one of those eyes is white. The other one is purple. So... Some of you are being called right now to develop your psychic abilities, right? It's like something's getting pulled apart. Your angels, your ancestors could be just doing some <laughs> doing some energetic surgery on your chakric systems right now. And while some of you could be healing, receiving healing from, uh, you know, different energy workers. But, yeah, I'm getting, you got these dragons helping you, okay? To, not only to help you go with the flow, but to help you ride through any sort of any obstacles, any turmoil, any drama people want to motherfucker start in your life, right? These dragons, um, and this ancestor, Hari, Hari Yibwia, this god, it's an Egyptian god. <laughs> wonder why they just come out like that. But yeah, they're helping you, okay? So we're going to get a message from the fairies. And actually, since I'm mentioning that, I want to mention one more thing. So the day after my birthday, I got this. And the reason that I got this is because it's a dragon eye, right? Now, when you go through, this is like representing the Kundalini activation and awakening. 
for me. So it's a generator. But that I is something that you may see when you're going through a Kundalini awakening. You know, uh, I was talking to the lady who actually created that. And she was saying that when she went through her Kundalini awakening, she saw the eye open like in her eye, right? But she thought it was a reptilian. <laughs> and it's so funny because I, I also thought that as well. And she confirmed to me that day that pretty much that was a dragon eye that I saw. Um, and apparently it's a part of the Kundalini awakening and activation. So shit, yeah, I'll be learning shit. Game be learning shit. Um... So yeah, I just wanted to say, um, that's a big part, you know, Kundalini awakening, activation. Some of you could be going through that right now. And I think that's coming up for a reason, right? It's one thing when your chakras open from the Kundalini rising, but it's another thing when your chakras become activated, right? And when a chakra becomes activated, it basically allows that energy to express itself freely instead of having to open it up again and open it up again and, and continue balancing things, right? So I feel like people that reach that, that rainbow level, it's like all their chakras are just expressing themselves perfectly, um, actively, you know what I mean? So some of you are coming into that phase as well. Right? It's like, you know, so your core doesn't shake, you don't quiver and, you know, become uncertain about your purpose and, you know, get held back by your emotions and stuff. So, and your thoughts and all of that. So, you know, the Kundalini awakening ain't for the week, but um, it's definitely a very real thing that, you know, um, I'm not going to say special, but the very unique souls on this planet are destined to go through. So this is a Lumerian seed. I am certain. <laughs> um, so yeah, from the fairies, we go go outside, gang. Okay, so some of you are being called to go outside, stick your feet, plug your feet into the freaking charger bank. Okay, what's that? That's Gaia. So next up, we're gonna get a message from the from the Earth cards, and then we'll break down what all of this is about. We'll get into more depth. So maybe some of you haven't been outside much lately. Okay. And I'm seeing that the reason you're being called to go outside is because Gaia wants to help you, gang. Right? Not only Gaia, but the fairies. I'm going to show you something, gang. You ready for this? This is my new wand. <laughs> and it's a fox. And I've blessed this reading with this wand. Um, but basically, straight from the fairy realm, look at this, man, gang. Right? Basically... This is just telling me that some of you, like, it's not only the earth, but the fae and the trees and, yeah, Gaia is calling you to her. And you know why? Because there's something that you, you're being called to heal or let go of, okay? There could be some kind of grief going on. I don't know why my voice is so shaky. Like, some of you may feel very, um, like, even a bit anxious at this time. Maybe some of you are a bit anxious to speak up. Um, you know, could be setting boundaries, not, not for everyone, but I'm getting that. Just speaking up for yourselves. All right, so this is no cap. We're talking green, 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 baby. Everything in this is pointing to green. Go outside, get your medicine, get your earth medicine. All right. Remember that you are medicine too. Okay. So you being fully in your magic is medicine for the planet and everyone that inhabits the planet. Um, you guys are going through a higher heart activation right now, okay? So this is why, if you are resonating with this message, it says your heart is healed. So hold up, hold up. So I guess some of you, you've done a lot of healing on your heart, okay? Some of you are still healing. So this is going to resonate for a few different people, or different groups of people, like collectives. Um, I just feel like if, it's, if that's not the case, some of you are being drawn outside, like seriously... Like, look at the magic in this pond, right? It's like you're being drawn outside. It's like calling to you because there may be some grief from your past that you need to let go of. Um, coming into this, like, where, where are you going on that journey is the question, which I'm going to look into with Froggy's deck, Froggy's little mini cards. <laughs> but um, I'm just getting... Some of you are about to step outside, right? <laughs> or maybe you've done this recently. It feels like something's coming in the future, though. 
And it's like you're going to be hit with this, just this divine love, this overflowing love coming over and around you and feeling it inside of you. And, and I think that in that moment, it's like you're going to realize that, yes, Gaia can heal you. The angels can heal you. God can heal you. The creator can heal you. Your own love for yourself, your own love for the planet, the people, everything, it can all heal you. And so some of you are going through a massive heart chakra activation right now. Um, and that's why you're being drawn outside. So let's see what this heal thyself is about. Let's see what Froggy got to say. Froggy! <laughs> right, so some of you need to... This is about people pleasing, okay? So look, if I, if I was a feminine watching this, I would tell you to look into... I mean, if you were a girl watching this, I would tell you to look into dark feminine energy. Not something to get like lost in, but, you know, I think some of you need to hear this where, you know, it's it's okay to be unapologetic about not being able to do something, not being able to show up. Like we're coming into that seriously, like I'm talking about a bad bitch era, but on times a million, you know, and dark feminine energy is really interesting to study because it's about like really, it really helps women specifically to break out of the people pleasing tendencies, especially towards men um, or even towards your friends, right? <clears throat> just in general, it's about just being raw, like like brutally, openly gauging wound raw. Like, <laughs> like it really is brutally honest with yourself, all of that stuff. So some of you are being you're healing from some kind of people-pleasing tendencies or you're learning, like I said, to set boundaries with people, right? And that's that's quite a um, contradicting thing when you're going through a higher heart chakra activation, right? You know, but I feel like the balance comes in when you realize that it's divine love that can provide for you, right? And that you don't have to provide your love and divine love to everyone all the time, every day, right? It's It's... You know, you can be yes man, yes woman, but eventually that shit wears you out and it it fizzles you out. So it's about preserving your energy for this journey, okay? Because you're gonna have to you're going somewhere, gang. If you're resonating with this, you're you're on your way somewhere. And the angels, the dragons, your star family is assisting you. Heavy on the angels, okay? I'm getting someone's someone's about to make a final decision like, no, I will not be doing that any longer. Right? Or um, some of you have been giving too much to somebody or something. Um, I'm even getting, some of you could be even like a little bit, I want to say, like I feel like saying it's important not to use religion or anything to put a band-aid over your core wounds, right? If you have trauma or something that you've been through in your life that you know, you just push to the back of your mind. Um, just know that, like, of course you can give to angels and your spirit guides and, and a whole bunch of different etheric beings that you can give your fears and your pain and all of that to them to transmute. But you are here to learn how to do a lot of these things for yourself, right? Your guides are supporting you every step of the way, gang. I feel like some of you are very creative there's a lot of fucking magic coming into your life, okay? It's a whole new world, right? That's like a fairy world you're coming into, right? Just a world full of magic, protection, rewards, travel for some of you. But I'm getting, yeah, there's, there's like a final decision that's about to be made. And I think your angels, your spirit team are about to assist you in doing that. And this is really about putting your foot down. And the reason like some of you could be like have some kind of people pleasing tendencies and feel guilty and ashamed, like feel like shit for not being able to cater to everybody's needs is because there's something going on deep in your subconscious, right? From your childhood, because the matters of the fact be you can't be everything for everyone. You know, you can only be the best version of yourself every day and everyone's got things they need to sort out everyone's got things they need to do everyone's got problems life to live right but i just feel um yeah some of you may need to go back and try to find the core wound behind why why you be just like overextending yourself to people that first of all don't appreciate you okay second of all the motherfuckers 
they just they they some of you you're dealing with people that got their hand out right they just expect things from you now some of you you may be into charity work as well but this is what i'm saying like i think there's there's multiple reasons why people can get into things you know sometimes it's coming from a deep people pleasing wound and sometimes it's coming literally from the heart and this is why it feels contradicting because whoever you are it's like you're meant to be here to operate out of your heart you're going through an activation dna wise right when the higher heart chakra is activating this means that your heart chakra is already activated right so most people on this planet they i'm not going to say everyone but a lot of people still are operating out of those lower three chakras the ice in their heart hasn't melted but the times that we're coming into there's going to be a lot more people with that ice melting off their heart right empathy people feeling empathy for each other again right it doesn't mean absorbing somebody else's pain and absorbing someone else's karma and problems and emotions no it's about becoming empowered empathic beings empowered intuitive beings and yeah it's like you're going to come to this place where you're going to realize you don't need to have fucking any shields up because some of you you got people that want to send you negative energy you got people that want to feed off your energy i can feel it right i just feel like there's you're coming into this time where you're going to be able to be fearless but how you're not going to have to hold your shield up right what's that song i'm hearing that drake i'm on defense i'm on defense right it's like you don't need to be on defense in the near future if you're on this timeline you ain't gotta be right spirit saying you guys are getting ready you guys are getting ready for a glow up that's what froggy saying you guys are getting ready for a big glow up okay you could be coming to a very very magnetic era in your life um but yeah higher heart chakra activation is all about like you know, when it's coming online, you're going to want to, you're just going to naturally have a lot of love for people, right? You're going to naturally want to give, naturally care, all of this. But it's about having faith in the protection that is around you from your spirit team, right? You know, for the most part, people can protect themselves, you know, mentally, physically. You can go to the freaking, you know, self-defense class, whatever you want to do, boxing, Muay Thai, working out whatever you want to do you can protect yourself physically but like it's about protecting yourself mentally emotionally protecting your heart as well but it's like not being protect like feeling like you need protection over you knowing that you are the protector because you carry the love inside of your heart the divine love inside of your heart and lo what is love love is the greatest shield love is the greatest shield and that's what I'm getting from that. <laughs> Alright, I feel like I'm done channeling on that card. But yeah, love is the greatest shield. So you're going to be able to drop your shields. Because you're going to feel this love from all these beings. Gaia, the fairies, the dragons, the Egyptian gods, your ancestors, your angels, your star family. Alright, like it's a little, this is what I'm saying, gang. This is, and you're going to feel them all around you to increase your sense of confidence in this journey that you're on. Okay? Yeah, let's see if we got any other messages. Last deck. What are we up to for the time? I'm on 18 minutes. So far, so far, I'm enjoying this game. All right. So we've got Great Mystery. I'm going to read it because a few cards came out. We've got Great Mystery and also Eagle Medicine. So some of you are on this kind of journey solo, just like an eagle has to go around, go out and do a solo, right? They get pushed out the nest pretty early and they got to learn to fly on their own, right? Um, and then there's this process where the eagle goes and up to a mountain, rips its beak off and <laughs> becomes reborn, right? So that could be where you're going on this, on this boat, gang. That could be where you're going on this boat. You know, you've got some kind of sacred item, whether it's inside your DNA or maybe you have a sacred item that you're supposed to be taken to where the angels are taking you. OK, so, yeah, let's get into this. Have faith and know that you are divinely guided tribe. Right. Even when you have doubts, trust that you're exactly where you need to be and you need to believe it right now more than ever. OK, because there's so much there's so much magic around you. You've planted your seeds. Now allow the creator to do the rest. 
Even if you can't see into the future, have faith that the path will be illuminated and go forward. I feel like some of you have a seed or you have something, something of very, something very valuable. All right. It's very valuable in the earthly realm. And this is something that could be connected to a wish of yours because I'm seeing a star in my mind. It's, it's part of your purpose gang. Okay, so you may find yourself just with a whole lot more love. And I'm, I'm getting this could be over, over the next month, six months for you guys. If you're seeing this, whenever you're seeing this. And you're just going to notice like when shit starts falling apart, like especially emotionally, you're going to you're going to feel like it's almost like that movie Inside Out, like how they just go around and like <laughs> they're just in the mind. These little characters, they're in that in the girl's mind and they're just going around up the shoots, changing all the memories, changing stuff around. You know, it's kind of like that, like the dragons are just swimming around you. Um, and like when someone tries to break something down or break you down, it's like the, the dragons just come and sweep you up and catch you, right? If anything tries to break you down <laughs> or anyone. So yeah, this is that protection and you're going to see it more and more and more and more and stronger and stronger and stronger. You're going to see these things manifest. You're going to feel these things around you guys. You're going to feel these beings here. Okay. So yeah, if you have any recurring challenges, turn them over to the creator. Not my will, but thy will be done. Okay. <laughs> thy will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. My ears are ringing. And I feel like, you know, some of you, you even got... I want to say, I want to say very like intimidating beings working with you, right? Maybe there's something about them that look, you could have had dreams about certain beings and they're very intimidating looking, right? Um, but like when that heart, higher heart chakra activates, you don't see the division in like, what, why you, what's so different about them and you know, you may be curious. And I think curiosity is probably the best emotion you can follow when it comes to like exploring the beings that are working with you, exploring your connection to your spirit guides, your angels, right? Curiosity is, is the key to the magic. Um, but some of you may have seen some really intimidating looking beings or dreamt of them or, or drawn them, right? You may have visions of them. Um, and Yeah, it's just like we're coming into this time where there's not even a shield around. There's not even a shield up when it comes to being different from each other, you know, like like with racism and friggin prejudiceness and all of this shit. Like, oh, man, I'm not really a big fan of politics. I'll be honest. <laughs> it's very coarse vibrations. Um so this is saying, okay, gang, this is, this is what you really need to know, all right? I feel like some of you are about to start flying solo if you're in a relationship and you've been feeling like you need to cleanse yourself from a relationship, all right? That's why these two cards come out together. Um, some of you are going to do that and go on some kind of journey on your own, all right? But some of you could already be solo. You take a resonance. Okay, so this is saying faith is the foundation of the ability to manifest, right? You need to have faith in the creator right now. You need to understand that no matter like what, what the fuck is going on in your life, okay? Whether it's confusing, whether it's exciting, no matter what like you're feeling, there is a divine plan behind all of it, right? It's, it's thy will be done. So some of you may have surrendered to the divine will, okay? Um, but this is saying everything was created because someone believed that it was possible. Everything. Some, somebody out there believed it was possible for anything to be created, right? Any book to be published, any song to be sang, right? any dream that was dreamt, somebody believed it was possible. They believed that they could do it. They believed that they could make it happen. So you have to believe in yourself no matter what, right? You have to believe in, well, you don't have to, gang, but you're going to see I think God is about to make your faith absolutely unshakable. I feel like some of you have unshakable faith, but I'm hearing the proof is about to be in the pudding for some of you. Okay. Now, some of you have really planted seeds or you're about to plant seeds. Okay. Maybe you left them wherever you, wherever you were on that boat before, but you're on this journey now, right? It's like by the time you come back, all these seeds are going to be 
grown and beautiful. Okay, so change could happen in a heartbeat if this is your message. But some things require time. Okay, whatever you guys have been wishing for, at attending to, um, caring for, right? You've been, you plant a seeds and you're nourishing them, you're watering them. But I just know that the creator is going to make sure that the sun shines every day, that the rain falls the perfect amount, right? That the moon comes out every day for your crops and that they grow and blossom into beautiful, beautiful beings, right? Plants, like really, and like really, really, like that's what I'm getting, gang. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on. There's a lot of mystery, a lot of magic going on for this collective. Um, but let me see one more thing. Let me see one more thing about this journey. Because some of you are coming into a very independent time financially. This could be what your glow up is about, right? You glitching shit out, gang. Right? Some of you are about to. Some of you could be receiving a lot of love from the dragons. Okay? But I want to affirm to you all, if this is message, if this is resonating for you, do not worry. Okay? Do not worry. If you're getting stressed about anything at this point in your journey, just take a motherfucking nap. Okay? Like seriously, put yourself down or go to the earth and relax. Ground yourself because everything is working out perfectly. Doesn't matter what you're doing, gang. Because I know we're all different. We're all unique, right? Everything that you're doing, and I was thinking this morning, I'm divinely guided to be in the right place at the right time at all times as everything I desire or something better than expected manifests for me in effortless and harmonious ways. This is something I used to say to myself every day, 2020 to 2021. And I still say it sometimes. And today I was saying that and I haven't said it for a long time, but I feel like that's significant. Maybe you guys want to use that mantra. Because it's um, very helpful to help you feel like, like, yeah, everything's okay. And you're also creating your reality by affirming things like that. You know, helping things flow towards you easily. Um, I feel like some of you just have a lot of success coming towards you. Some of you have some kind of pit stop you got to stop at is what I'm getting to on this journey. But yeah, you got a lot of medicine to give back to the world. Learning about these boundaries, learning it's okay to love, but also understand that your shield is the love that you receive from the gods, your, your entire spirit team, okay? Um, and the thing is about emotions, what? We can't see them, can we? <laughs> Where are they? But we can feel them, you know? Like, we can really feel them. Not everyone can see uh, the coding, right? But it's there. And... I just feel like there's, there's a very big mystery. <laughs> there's some kind of secret surprise, inside job, big mystery surprise coming to you guys. But at the moment, it just feels like you're just on a boat. And, it, and it's a bit rocky, right? It's a bit rocky. And you find yourself thinking, wow, shit, I've planted all these seeds. You know, like maybe you guys are just a little distressed. Or maybe at nighttime, you'd be thinking a lot, right? But that stress is going to be gone. That's what they want you to know. And it's going to be replaced by the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> so by the magic of the fairy realm, we send you guys lots of love. And uh, may the dragons be with you. Take good care of yourselves. Drink pure, pure water. Think pure thoughts. Know the dragons love you. They're with you. And uh, every step of the way, Froggy, you tell them. It's okay to fly, gang. It's okay to fly. Um... Just know that the universe has you. God has you, okay? It's a beautiful message of reassurance today. And I like this, so I think we'll do some more of these in the future. Peace to your tribe. Let me know if it resonated. Bye.